It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Thursday, the 13th of June. I'm Michael Groff. Heat will remain the big story here across the area through this weekend. We expect the excessive heat to continue through then. Then temperatures should back off at least for the first half of next week. All the while, we do have some forecast uncertainty that will be creeping into the fold here, and we'll talk about that and everything else as we dive on in and discuss. First, the almanac from yesterday, 111 degrees the afternoon high. 83 was the morning low. That continues to be above those averages of 104 and 78. We're only two degrees shy of the record of 113 set from 2022. As we take a look outside right now here at 720 a.m., we've got some clouds out there this morning. That's a beautiful shot. Sun over the clouds, and we'll watch those clouds today. We might even see a sprinkle or two this afternoon. We'll let you know about that. Right now, we're starting out at 88 degrees at Sky Harbor, but it is very dry, and that's why we don't expect any meaningful rain. Subcloud layer, very dry, dew point 31, humidity 13%, a light wind. The barometer is uh, rising. Upper level weather pattern across the nation right now shows high pressure in control here across the southwest and into the southern plains states. We do have this little upper low that we've been talking about for a while that sits to the south and west of us that is beginning to shift to the north and east. As it does, a very small amount of moisture will be coming in here. We'll see clouds around today. And there is at least a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms over the higher terrain. Maybe a sprinkle or a light shower someplace across the southern deserts this afternoon, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But really, with high pressure and control and the main storm track to the north, obviously heat is our primary concern. And you can see that on the watch warning map. We've got that excessive heat warning. It is still in effect for us here in the Phoenix area. That is through, it's uh, now actually been extended through 8 p.m. on Sunday. And of course, those heat warnings extended to southeast Arizona and the Rio Grande as well. We've got heat advisories for places like Topeka and Kansas City. That flood watch for South Florida is going to be expiring here later this morning. And uh, they had plenty of rain yesterday. All right, the convective outlook for today, the enhanced risk of severe storms over parts of Missouri, Iowa, and western and northwest Illinois, just uh, to the west of Chicago. The broader severe weather risk really from around Denver all the way up into the central Great Lakes states. We do have a little risk of thunder across central and northern Arizona up into parts of Utah today. And again, a conditional threat, but any thunderstorms that develop would be high-based in nature, mostly wind and lightning producers if anything happens at all. Very little precipitation. Speaking of, here is that precipitation outlook. This is valid through Thursday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing. Statewide, again, a light shower or two across northeast Arizona up into the four corners, but generally under one-tenth of an inch expected there. And any rain chances will be generally this afternoon and into uh, maybe tomorrow morning, and that'll be about it. All right, let's get into the details of this forecast. And to do that, we explore the models, see what they have to say. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that upper low beginning to shift off to the north and east of us uh, from near the Baja coast and beginning to come on in. High pressure and control otherwise. What it means down at the surface for the day today, partly sunny sky, quite a few clouds around. Again, mostly mid and high level clouds, but isolated showers and thunderstorms will develop over the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona today. And around here, there's enough dynamic support and just this meager amount of moisture, especially in the mid-levels, that we could see maybe a sprinkle, but more than likely you'll just see verga. That's rain that evaporates before it reaches the ground. But maybe a sprinkle, a couple of raindrops could hit you today here across the south central deserts, including Phoenix uh, this afternoon. Uh, could you hear a rumble of thunder in that? Maybe. Uh, but the chance of any measurable rain is well under 10%. So we're not going to put that in the forecast. Uh, high temperatures this afternoon. Yeah, it's still going to be hot. Uh, we'll be up around 107 to 111. Now for tonight, again, an isolated sprinkle in the evening, otherwise partly cloudy. Lows mostly in the 70s to low 80s. And then tomorrow, we've got... Mostly sunny sky returning as that area of low pressure shifts off to the north and east. Maybe a few showers and storms around the four corners. Most of the action will stay to the east of Arizona, however, with high temperatures dropping back a couple of degrees in the wake of that low, somewhere around 105 to 109. The National Weather Service has just decided that rather than break up the heat warning into today and then Saturday, Sunday, they'll just continue it through tomorrow as temperatures will be close to excessive heat thresholds. 
Saturday, we're back in the heat with high pressure returning and temperatures around uh, 109 to 113. Another scorcher here. Same thing on Sunday. Highs uh, will still likely be a couple of degrees either side of 110. And uh, rain chances, well, there'll be basically none here for us. As we go to Monday, we've got troughing developing over the Pacific Northwest, and this is a feature we're going to watch as we go into next week because this will displace our ridge. Heights will start to come down. Temperatures will start to come down. We expect highs anywhere from about 103 to 108 on Monday, around maybe closer to 105 degrees on Tuesday, maybe 100 to 104 or so for Tuesday and or Wednesday. And, of course, with this trough, the heights come down, but any moisture in the main dynamics will obviously stay well off to the north, and there's not much moisture with this anyway, and it certainly won't be drawing any moisture in. We'll see some breezy conditions with this, and temperatures back closer to normal, which is still hot, but not excessively so. More manageable heat for mid-June. Now, as we go to a week from today, this is Thursday, the 20th. And there's a few features that we're kind of watching. First of all, a very strong ridge out over the eastern part of the nation and a developing tropical system sometime over the weekend and into next week over the Bay of Campeche, the southwest Gulf of Mexico. And how that evolves, if that develops, how it evolves will be interesting for us. We'll watch that move into maybe mainland Mexico. And then it's really going to depend on how quickly this trough over the Pacific Northwest ejects on out. With stronger ridging, it may persist over the west and the Rockies for a longer period of time. And if that's the case, this potential tropical cyclone down here and this additional moisture across Mexico would stay far away from us. However, some of our ensemble guidance shows a ridge uh, much more quick to build back in across the southwest. And should that happen, we'd see an increase in moisture across New Mexico and into eastern Arizona sometime by the middle and latter part of next week. So there is something of a split among the models right here. As we go out 10 days, uh, this would be Saturday, the 22nd. We see now 591 Ridge firmly in place across the southwest. And again, the placement of this ridge and exactly where it sets up has been, well, well the GFS has not done a good job handling this. So we've seen solutions all over the board. Uh, the OZ run had this somewhere closer to the four corners. We saw that on, uh, we've seen that in some of the GFS ensemble runs. So there is considerable uncertainty as to how this plays out, but at least a small amount of moisture may start to creep into eastern Arizona at some point late next week. And we're going to have to watch for that possibility. And let's take a look at uh, rainfall for Phoenix. This goes out through the 27th of June off the GFS ensemble. You've got about half of the members that indicate measurable precipitation here, but even at that, the ensemble mean still remains very, very low. Well under a tenth of an inch. We don't expect any meaningful rain chances. Nevertheless, the GFS ensemble, at least a few of the members do buy into a somewhat a more interesting scenario out here, especially toward the latter part of next week with a small amount of moisture creeping in. I know people are getting excited about the monsoon and those possibilities, uh, but at, at this point, I would uh, temper your expectations given the overall weather pattern that we have right now. Off the European Ensemble, there's about 10 members that indicate some degree of measurable precipitation. That's about one-fifth of the total ensemble. But again, the ensemble mean is um, almost nothing. So, yeah, nothing to worry about just yet. However, let's look at this. This is the Climate Prediction Center Precipitation Outlook. This is for the period of June 20th through the 26th. And look at this. Above average precipitation, the probabilities, this is based on probability, probability is skewed toward above average precipitation from South Texas to the Rio Grande and up into New Mexico and the eastern third of Arizona. Now, potentially over 40%, 45% chance that we could see above average precipitation, which would mean, let's say, 45% chance above, 33% chance of average, and that would leave 22% below average. Now, again, let's understand that even above average precipitation across eastern Arizona in mid to late June means not much rain. I mean, it doesn't take much to go above the average, maybe a tenth of an inch. But we'll take whatever we can get here. Near normal precipitation expected for the rest of the state, which basically means nothing or nearly nothing. Still, 
Uh, you know, listen, this is um, a little bit more of an optimistic graphic than we have seen recently. Now, does this mean that the, the summer, the forecast for the entire summer, June, July, August, the monsoon is, is changed? Not yet. And I don't expect the Climate Prediction Center to m make any changes to that outlook. In fact, um, and again, this is something we'll have to do a deeper dive into at some point in a future video. But more and more of the indications are that this will be a very dry monsoon here for much of the southwest. Does that mean it will be? Is that a, a given? Is that a for sure? Of course not. This is weather we're talking about here, folks. There is no such thing as a guarantee. It's just probability. Probability based on pattern recognition is favoring a dry monsoon. But at least in the short term, the next 8 to 14 days, maybe some precipitation across the eastern part of the state. We can certainly hope for that. Temperatures off the national blend of models, hot. That's the bottom line here for today, for this weekend. And then temperatures will trend down a little bit for part of next week and then probably bumping back up with a stronger ridging building in. We could see some moisture coming into eastern Arizona about that time, so we'll keep an eye on it. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like what we do here, then you can make those monetary contributions to us by clicking that thanks icon below the video here on YouTube, or you can make a donation directly to me via PayPal. Groffshow at gmail.com is the PayPal address. G-R-O-F-F -F show at gmail.com for PayPal. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, check her out, check out her blogs, check out all of the great information that you can find at sweetchildaz.com. Uh, it's an amazing site, and Michelle works very hard at it and uh, continues to work very hard on that site. So I want you to check that out. And, of course, everything else Michelle-related is also linked up down in the description. Not only that, but our streaming station. It is called KMGX. What do we do there? We play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that, too. And, again, that is linked up down in the description. And doing all that helps to support us, support the channel, and even just, it's just kind of a cool thing to do. You know, why not? There's other stuff. We do, we're, we got our hands in a bunch of different pies. Or what is it, fingers in a bunch of pies. I don't know, I've never really gotten that expression. Why do you put your fingers in pies? What, shouldn't you use utensils? I don't know, don't understand. Anyway, thank you so much for watching all of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. And you guys have yourselves a terrific Thursday.